The 1970 D Kennedy half dollar was the last of the regular strike silver clad half dollars and the last Kennedy half intended for circulation that contained any silver at all. Metal composition of alloy is 40% silver and 60% copper. Its release took collectors by surprise as it was available only in mint set that year. The United States Mint did not publicize this fact and by the time the collectors were hip to grant new collectible half dollar, it was too late to order one. A total of 2,150,000 mint sets were produced, making the 1970D the lowest mintage business strike Kennedy half dollar until 2006 when the mint could no longer wait out, changing public consumption patterns. Welcome back to Coinas. If you have rare US and world coins you want to sell, watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can post them for sale. On the obverse of the coin, the central motif is, of course, an effigy of the 35th President of the United States, the later John Fitzgerald Kennedy, a war hero. Kennedy was inaugurated on January 20, 1961 and assassinated on the November 22, 1963. Atop the upper half of the rim is the inscription Liberty, with Kennedy's hair covering the bottom portions of the letters B, E and R. The date 1970 is cradled at the bottom of the coin, while the national motto in God we trust is inscribed in a straight line above the year, but divided by the sharp truncation of Kennedy's neck. The mint mark D is found on the right side of the point of this truncation. Reverse side of the coin was designed by Frank Gasparo, he based the eagle on the presidential coat of arms from the seal of the President of the United States. The heraldic eagle's wings and legs are spread in four directions, the left talon, viewer's right, holds a bunch of arrows, a symbol of war, while the right claw, viewer's left, holds an olive branch, a symbol of peace. It is tradition to have the eagle face one side or the other relative to national circumstances at the time of striking. In this instance, the eagle faced towards the olive branch, despite America's involvement in Vietnam and the other conflicts around the world. The edge of the 1970 Kennedy of dollar is readed. Today, 1970 mint set still sells for more than the issue price on online marketplaces like eBay. Naturally, the price is being driven by attrition, as collectors have opened or destroyed numerous mint sets hunting for the 1970D half dollars. But the set isn't going for hundreds of dollars that some speculators have attempted to drive the price towards over the last 47 years. The 1970D Kennedy half is a good example of how much hype can or cannot do, as graded by third-party grading services. The MS62 to MS65 range is typical for 1970D, but keep in mind that any Kennedy half dollar of the period and the specifically this issue is going to feature a possible significant contact marks on President Kennedy's cheeks, in his hair and around his eyes. Even an MS66 can look rough. The same applies to the highlights of the eagle on the reverse. This is because the silver clad Kennedys are softer than their copper nickel clad counterparts from later years, as it appears that people just weren't nice to the Kennedy of dollar in general. Anything above MS67 is considered scarce, plus designated specimens are highly elusive. This attractively toned, almost pristine specimen in that grade was bargained for $10,694.25 with buyers fee at Great Collections Auction. Another specimen was sold at Heritage Auctions for big money. This one is in mint state 67. Blazing mint luster radiates over brilliant and virtually mark free surfaces. Seen dye polish lines appear in the fields, and the tiny S shaped mark occurs on the jawline. It ended up selling for $4,935. This video was made based on CoinWeek article. For more rare coin videos, you can scroll our US coins playlist on the main page of our channel. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and take care.